If you're considering adding a Great Dane to your family, one of the first questions you're likely to ask is how much Great Danes cost. Great Danes are quite popular, and as a result, they can be quite expensive. In this video, we will break down the cost of owning a Great Dane, from adoption fees and food to vet and grooming costs. So let's begin. Puppy Prices A Great Dane's price can range from $600 to $7,000, depending on the breeder, coat color, and other factors. The average price range for a Great Dane puppy is around $3,500. For comparison, popular breeds like Golden Retrievers and Labrador Retriever puppies typically cost between $500 and $2,000 for a new pooch. So Great Danes are definitely on the pricier side when it comes to other dogs. To buy a Great Dane pup, you have several options, all of them offering different prices. Let's discuss them one by one. Purebred Great Danes from Reputable Breeders if you're looking for a purebred Dane from a reputable breeder, you can expect to pay between $2,000 and $5,000. This price range is typical for most popular breeds of dogs. However, it's important to remember that the purchase price is only a small part of the overall average cost of a Great Dane. You'll also need to factor in things like food, vet bills, training, and more. It's important to do your research before you buy a Great Dane puppy, or any puppy for that matter. Be sure to visit the breeder's facilities and meet the parents of the puppy you're interested in, and always ask lots of questions. A reputable breeder will be happy to answer any questions you have about their dogs. Purebred Great Danes from Show Quality Breeders If you're looking for a show quality pup, you will pay even more. Show quality purebred Great Danes are typically priced between $4,000 and $7,000. While the Great Dane prices are higher, a good breeder invests a lot of time and money into researching the best possible breeding practices, extensive health testing, and research to make sure they are breeding for health, confirmation, and excellent temperament. Of course, if you're just looking for a companion, there's no need to spend the extra money. But if you're interested in showing your Great Dane or competing in agility trials, you can expect to get a really great pup from a show breeder. Adopting an Adult Great Dane Unlike previous methods, getting an adult Great Dane from a shelter or rescue organization is usually cheaper than buying a puppy from a Great Dane breeder. The adoption fee typically ranges from $200 to $600, while the average fee for a puppy is $400. If you're interested in adopting a Great Dane, there are several great resources available. The average adoption fee for a Great Dane is between $250 and $600. However, some organizations may have higher or lower fees. This is a great source for rescuing an older senior dog. An adult or senior can even have an apartment life and would live happily ever after as the official greater and lap dog to all of your guests. Getting a pup from a pet store. There's no question that pet store puppies are adorable, but before you head to the nearest pet shop in search of a Great Dane puppy, there are a few other things you should know. First of all, pet store puppies are typically priced between $600 and $1,200, but what you may not realize is that these puppies often come from puppy mills. These commercial breeding facilities focus on quantity over quality. Dogs are often kept in cramped, unsanitary conditions and may be sick or have genetic defects. So even though the prices might be less and you are wanting to save money, it will only end up costing you more money in healthcare and medical costs. Before you buy a Great Dane, if you are an experienced dog owner but never had a Great Dane before and feel that this is the breed for you, then it may be possible to start by fostering a Great Dane and seeing if the breed is a good fit for your household. Ask questions like, is he good with small children? Or does he like other dogs? And get to know the dog before you make a commitment. You'd be surprised to know that these dogs were originally bred to hunt wild boar. Nowadays, they are more commonly known as gentle giants and make great family pets. Great Danes, despite their name implying Danish origins, are thought to have been developed in Germany sometime during the middle of the 17th century. No one knows exactly why they became associated with Denmark. Food prices. Another cost to consider is food. Great Danes are large dogs and they need a lot of food to stay healthy. High quality giant breed dog food can be expensive, especially if you opt for an organic option. For example, the average price of a 30 pound bag of quality food is a higher price point and can cost upwards of $60. This will give them a better chance of avoiding joint problems. So be prepared to spend a bit more on food if you have a Great Dane, or any large dog for that matter. We prefer to feed higher quality giant breed food due to its nutritional value. In the long run, the better quality food will save me money on healthcare with my dog down the road. How much does a Great Dane eat? Great Danes typically eat between 4 to 8 cups of food per day, depending on their age, activity level, and other factors. 
Keep in mind, the yearly average cost for food for your Dane can be around $3,700. Because they are such huge dogs, they eat more food than the average big dogs. This is something to keep in mind when you are budgeting for a Great Dane. They will need a lot of food. Training Cost You'll also need to factor in the cost of dog training. Puppy training classes typically cost between $100 to $200, and obedience classes can cost even more. You may want to hire a private trainer if your dog isn't responding well to group classes. Obedience training is important for all dogs, but it's especially important for Great Danes. That's because they're a large breed, and they can be very strong. Professional training can cost anywhere from $50 to $100 per hour. When you own such a large dog, you want to make sure you have a handle on their behavior. Your life will be much easier when you can bring your adult dog out walking with friends and not worry about being pulled all over the place. Vet Expenses As with any pet, there are also medical costs to consider. There's the cost of vet care. There are medical conditions that are unique to the Great Dane breed. Dane owners also have to look out for hip dysplasia in their pets. This expensive surgery to repair this malformation of the hip socket costs $1,500 to $5,000. There are several health concerns to be aware of when you own a Great Dane. They are susceptible to hip dysplasia, arthritis, joint problems, and DCM. They're also at risk for bloat, which is a life-threatening condition that can occur when the stomach twists. And because of their large size, they're also more prone to heart problems. As a result, they often require more trips to the vet. Be sure to factor in the cost of routine vet care, as well as any unexpected medical bills. Take care of your Great Dane and they will take care of you. Routine Veterinary Expenses The total cost of routine veterinary care will vary depending on your location, the potential total cost will be around $840 per year. The first year is the most expensive due to routine visits and more frequent checkups. Regular vet visits include things like physical exams, health screenings, vaccinations, checkups, and routine blood tests. Preventative treatments like routine flea and tick prevention, usually once per month in the warmer months. If your dog needs medical procedures or has health issues, you should find a licensed veterinarian that you feel comfortable going to for professional advice. You want a vet who can provide veterinary advice and guidance on giant breeds and is well-versed in canine education. Maintaining your dog's health is an important part of being a Dane owner. After all, you want a four-legged friend who is happy and healthy. Emergency Vet Visits It's important to budget for unplanned medical expenses. Perhaps your Great Dane has a sudden unexpected health problem. Dogs can get sick or injured at any time, and vet bills can be very expensive. For example, a trip to the emergency room for a dog with a broken bone can cost several hundred dollars. If your dog needs surgery, you could be looking at a bill of several thousand dollars. Be sure to have a plan in place for how you will pay for unexpected medical bills. Insurance Cost Another Great Dane cost to consider is pet insurance. Pet insurance can help offset the cost of unexpected bills, and it's especially important for breeds like Great Danes that are prone to health problems. The average monthly premium for pet insurance varies widely. The exact amount will depend on factors like your dog's age and location. The pet insurance premium costs per month, depending on the level of coverage you need and the company you choose, shows that the average cost for this breed is around $70 per month. You can pay this every month or pay in advance for the entire year usually at a discounted rate. You will be able to save money on vet care in the long run by having a health care policy in effect. You can save a couple thousand dollars in vet care each year by having a pet insurance policy. Please note that most policies will not cover pre-existing health conditions. And be sure to read the small print they provide because many owners have been caught out after not buying the right coverage for their dog and their circumstances. Always call the insurance carrier for an accurate estimate. Pet sitting cost. If you're planning to travel or go on a vacation, you'll need to make arrangements for your pup. One option is to hire a pet sitter or dog walker. This can cost anywhere from $15 to $30 per day, depending on the length of the stay and the services provided. We have found that our Great Danes do not kennel well, and many Great Danes actually don't. We have always had very good luck finding people to sleep in our home and pet sit 24-7s for a very affordable price on Bark.com. Most people jump at the opportunity to spend the days and nights with your pup. Another option is to take your Great Dane to a doggy daycare. This can cost around $30 per day and it's a great way to socialize your dog. Doggy daycares provide a safe and fun environment for dogs to play and interact with other dogs. Dog walker fees. If you can't take your Great Dane for a walk during the day, you may need to hire a dog walker. In most cases, dog walkers typically charge $15 to $30 per walk. If you are able to find someone who loves your dog, dog walking services can be a great way to make sure your dog gets the exercise he needs, even when you're busy. 
You may be able to save money on some of these additional costs by asking family members, friends, or neighbors to help out. Grooming. Great Danes need to be groomed on a regular basis. This includes things like bathing, brushing, and nails trimmed regularly. You can do this yourself at home, or you can take your dog to a professional dog groomer. Either way, it's not cheap. Basic grooming services are slightly higher and can start at around $50 per visit. To save some money and time, the best way would be to hire a personal dog groomer who will come to your home. Other expenditures. There are some other basic facilities you'll need to provide to your Dane to keep him happy and secure. Chew toys. Great Danes are known for being gentle giants, but that doesn't mean they don't like to chew. In fact, most dogs like to chew. It's important to provide your dog with plenty of chew toys to keep them happy and prevent them from chewing on things they're not supposed to. Especially for your new Great Dane puppy, chew toys can cost anywhere from $15 to $30. Since they are one of the largest dogs, you should buy size-appropriate toys. Crates. A crate is a great way to keep your Great Dane safe and secure when you're not home. Crates can be used for potty training, traveling, and even just chilling at home. Crates come in all shapes and sizes, so it's important to choose one that's big enough for your dog. Crate prices start at around $50 and go up from there. American Kennel Club Registration and State Licensing Fees If you're planning to show your Great Dane, you'll need to register him with the American Kennel Club or AKC. The cost is $37 per year. If you do not plan on registering your wonderful dog with the AKC, you should get a minimum license for your dog with your local state agency. These fees typically run no more than $10. Any dog owner can request the paperwork which is usually submitted with their rabies vaccine certificate. Summary. As any dog parent knows, taking care of a furry companion can be a costly investment. Various additional expenses come with owning a giant dog including food, toys, treats, raised food and water bowls, and veterinary care. There are many things that you'll need to purchase, both initially and throughout their lifetime. Buying a Great Dane is only one part of the overall cost of a Great Dane. There is also the cost of maintenance. These are all the other costs that build up over time. You may not think too much of them at first, but over the 8 to 10 years a Great Dane is expected to live, these will really stack up. Fortunately, there are many ways to save on costs. For example, many pet stores sell high-quality generic dog foods at a fraction of the cost of branded options. Similarly, dogs can often participate in low-cost social activities like group walks or play dates at local dog parks. Therefore, while the financial costs of owning a giant dog can sometimes seem daunting at first glance, careful planning and resourcefulness can ensure that potential expenses are effectively managed over time. As a Great Dane owner, you should also consider joining the Great Dane Club of America. Many factors play into the cost of owning a dog in general, and a Great Dane specifically. The biggest factor is size. All in all, the average cost of owning a Great Dane can be expensive. But if you're prepared for the financial commitment, whether you get a companion or show dog, this breed can make a great addition to your family. If you're planning to get a new Great Dane puppy, then check out this comprehensive new puppy guide we have put together. For more information on Great Danes, check out our website and social media.